Hi, today in this video I will be showing you how to create an autocomplete text field in Flutter. So we will be, we will be using a service from which we will be auto populating the names uh, into the autocomplete text, text field. So this is the service that I am going to use. You, you can get it free from jsonplaceholder.typecode.com. Let's go back to the UI and let's create the service function that uh, calls the service. I'm going to paste that there and you can see there are a lot of users uh, available so that we can use it. So let's go to the let's go and create a new file user.dart. I'm, I'm going to quickly write the class fields, the name and email. You can see the name and email in each user object. So let's create the constructor that will take the three parameters that will be this dot id, this dot name and this dot email. Alright, now we will write a function that will parse the incoming JSON object into the user object. So that will be a map with a dynamic type since it, it can be a string or integer. Now we will return the user object that will be user and inside that we will be mapping the ID from the JSON string. Alright, the name and Similarly, the email ID. I'm going to copy that and paste for email. Alright, let's go back to the main UI and make sure that uh, for service call we need to add the HTTP package. Once you add the package, call Flutter packages get and get the packages. And let's write the function to get these from the service. So that will be get users. So that will be an asynchronous function. I'm going to write a try catch block and catch if there are any errors. Now we will import the HTTP package as HTTP and let's create uh, the response that will be final response equal to await HTTP.get and let's copy paste the URL. Alright, if the response is okay, then let's check it for for now it's just 200 and if it is not 200 I'm, I'm printing an error and on catch I'm printing the same error all right now I'm going to create a boolean variable to check if the service is being loaded so once it start loading I'm going to set it to once it is complete loading I'm going to set it to false now we will create a list of users uh, let's import the users uh, file there and that will be new list of users so that is a the, that's an empty list of users and users equal to I'm going to get the users list with a function so I'm gonna call it load users with the response body alright let's write the that function load users and that will be static load users with a static uh, return type list users and the load users string uh, JSON string okay and uh, inside the final I'm gonna name it parsed and let's import the dot convert package and then call decode json.decode with the JSON string and cast it cast and inside that let's map the string to the dynamic so that will create the list of JSON objects now return we have to return the list of users so parse dot map let map the uh, let's map those json object to user objects so let's pass each json and let's call the user from json remember we wrote that function in the user file and let's re return the list all right let's call it in the init state so override the init state and call get users i'm going to quickly print the length of each length of the users that we are getting okay let's run the app i'm gonna call flutter run and you, as you see we got 10 users i'm gonna minimize that and let's create the ui if it is loading i'm going to show a circular progress uh, indicator and if not we are going to add the autocomplete so let's add the autocomplete library first 
So go to pubspec.yaml and add this library. I'll be giving this library link in the description. Let's import the library, autocomplete library, and let's add the autocomplete. That will be autocomplete text field with the list of users. So that will take the user parameter. It's going to show the users list, right? So it's going to take the parameter. So it will show a list of options that we need to implement. That will be suggestions, item builder, sort, etc. Let's first add the suggestions. So it will be the list of users. And let's add some style. That will be text style, color, colors, dot, let's say black. And the font size to 16. All right. Now we'll be adding some decoration. That will be new input decoration and uh, the content padding to edge insets dot uh, the left side will be 10 top will be 30 and right give it as 10 and bottom to make it 20 all right and the hint style hint text to search name since we are going to search a name from the list and hint style to text style and color color to black can have any color I'm just setting it to black now and let's give the item filter so that will take an item and a query query is a query is what the user types and the item is a user so let's return if the item dot name let's make it lowercase and if it is starting with the query query parameter whatever the user types let's compare it with lowercase okay compare making lowercase and the next thing is item sorter that's going to compare the two names and sort according to that compared to b dot name okay now next thing we will be writing item submitter we'll write it later now we are going to create the ui for each row in the autocomplete so that will take two parameters item builder and let's uh, write a function to return the UI, return the widget for the for each row in the autocomplete list view. So I'll be calling it row, which takes item parameter. That will be the user. Let's write the function row user user and return. Uh, I'll be returning a row, which takes. Uh, let's set the axis alignment to space between and the children children. Uh, first one is a text that takes the user name I'm gonna give some space uh, okay styling styling let's style it first font size to 16 for spacing I'll be adding a sized box with the width of uh, 10 and uh, another text Uh, for email is a dot email I'm going to create a variable for each for the autocomplete text field and the new key that will be global key autocomplete text field state key is equal to new global state let's use uh, the search field uh, search field equal to autocomplete text field and set supply the key now let's set the item submitted value when the user submits we are going to get the text whatever the user typed and set it to the autocomplete text field all right so that will be text field dot controller dot text equal to item dot name i am going to format it a little bit all right okay i'm going to set another parameter clear on submit to false so when user submits i am not going to clear so let's run the app and see so let's l that's working so let's check another name okay see that's also working so that's it if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon as well thanks for watching